Welcome, or welcome back, new viewers and Game of Bears. It is time for another episode of the Paper Mario T2ID Remake for the through, and today we're at the end of the x Knots Fortress, and beyond this door is our next major boss fight. So, why don't we walk through this door and begin? No wasting time. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, man! I'm waiting, and I hate waiting. You again? Man, I'm so sad to see this guy. You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And want to know the best part? You little Peach Princess isn't even here anymore. So Peach totally isn't here? Where did you take her, you huge weasel? Oof. <laughs> like I tell you the plan, and that's novice villain style. <laughs> Making fun of every villain ever. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So ready for showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0! Oh, oh, I hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing is raw horsepower, kiddies! I wonder if they changed the song here uh, from the fight in the earlier game, or earlier in the game. <laughs> yeah, last vision version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. Oh, please. As if we're not going to totally whip you for, like, the tenth time. The fourth time, actually, Gabella. Technically fifth time. You cannot flee this battle. So why don't we start off with a little damage? Nine damage and one hit. Now why don't you tattle for us? Ah! Magnus Von Grapple 2.0! The upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple! Max HP is 70, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Its basic attack is a drill move that uh, drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fist for flying X punches. Each X punch has an HP of 5 and an attack of 9, and defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and body in one turn. Take care of those low HP fists early on, trust me. When the body's HP gets low, it also fires machine guns that who and who knows what else. It may not look too diff different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design is a little ridiculous, though. It's a freaking ramen cup. That's what it looks like. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill attack! Uh-oh. Oof! Did some damage there. You know what? I'm gonna use our star power. Why don't we use Power Lift? Temporarily increases your party's attack and defense power. For 3 SP. We haven't used this in the entire game, so it's time. That's a nice little targeting game. Anytime you hit the orange arrows, I will raise your attack. Hit the blue ones, I will raise your defense. Hit the poisonous mushrooms, you'll be stunned for a second. Alright, got plus one defense. Alright, we have plus four attack, looking pretty good. We have plus four attack, plus three defense. I love power lift, it's such a cool badge. Or not badge, um, star power. And we have all that for three turns as well. Should help us take some better attacks. You know what? Why don't we use Rattle and give Mario another move? Alright, Magnus Von Bitch, you're about to take some damage. Alright, and we got the Shine Sprite's power. And right after using Rattle Wick as well. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna hurt. Take that! 13 damage, look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> 
Time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Alright, I think I'm gonna bring out Vivienne for this one. But first off, another power jump will do the trick. So Vivienne can do spread damage to them. Alright, fiery drinks! B, 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 Y, X. Alright, Vivian doesn't have our power boost. Alright, I don't really need this, but... Eh. <laughs> oh, crud. You guys should be a little puddles of nothing by now. Oh, well. I've still got some tricks up my sleeve. Uh-oh. What is he doing? He's sucking up the audience. That ain't right. Again, who keeps buying tickets to these shows, man? Bah, 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 bah. Eat this! Ow. <laughs> And mind you, I have a power plus, I have a PMD down badge on, along with my defense plus badge to cancel the defensive downsides of it. Pretty decent setup. As you can see, it works really well with my plus three defense. Ah, this guy literally can't do shit to me. Alright, why don't we switch you into Bombery Boy? Alright, bomb attack. <laughs> no, how? What? My sweet power robot, power robot is on the ropes. It, this is wrong. All right, you'll take one turn of burn damage. All right, that doesn't really mean anything. We could just take all of those out right here. All right, my attack buff is gone, but it doesn't really matter. Also, for fun, I might just use Vivian again. Alright, does- uh, we don't need this either, but it'd be nice to have. Yep. Star power! Better yet, now just blow him all the fuck up, why not? Bob bomb boust And now you are dead. Look at that explosion! Awesome. <laughs> Alright, you got star points of 28. Well, that was Paper Mario 1000 Your Door, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. The whole base just exploded. I think. Yeah. No, Crump is dead. There's no way- Okay, we didn't blow, but he didn't. You should be dead. Mario! We've earned it, man. We have all seven crystal stars. You got a crystal star! Your star power is now eight, and Mario learned the special move Supernova! Also the greatest attack in the game. You thought Earth Tremor was good? Who oh boy, can't wait to show this one. And a chapter cleared, forgot to say that. The last crystal star has been hidden in the Xbox hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario rediscovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Meanwhile, with whatever Bowser is doing. Well, here we're here. And now where is the stupid partially sanctum? A crystal star is there, right? So they say your pru uh, putridness? And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you! Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser, and we go. Alright, we just walk on in. Hey, you! I need to ask you something. 
I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn on my fur to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you crate thing? What? That's disgusting! Get away from me, creep! You can't have my horns! These are the prize horns of the Koopa King! Who do you think you are, and he can't jump high enough? Oh, you think this is him jumping this low? He jumps much higher in the next game. Just you wait and see. <laughs> oh no. It's my fault, man. I didn't I didn't mean to scare you, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm Lord Bowser, I don't say sorry. She is pissing her pants right now. Oh, hello there, guy. Bosh the is nice on a warm afternoon to it. What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah. You know, guy, I think maybe you got a little too much, honey. Eh? Also, kid. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Uh, Evil King Extraordinaire, this band of legend. Okay, Extraordinaire. <laughs> I am Bowser! Bowser, Evil King Extraordinaire! Uh, yeah, yeah. Mommy, Daddy, I'm running away! Oh, look! My heart trembles. The fountain so elegant is not at its finest. So very observant. So very observant, as usual, my dear good Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest. One cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art, art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it, yet how can one appraise what the eyes cannot perceive? Whoa! I don't have a clue what you're talking about! You people scare me, seriously! Those people scare you, Bowser? Okay, then. Actually, I wonder if I can go back to the previous, uh... What am I called? Part of this. Of a partially sanctum. Can I go back? I can't. Partially sanctum is up ahead! Get the crystal star! Well, excuse me, princess. This place is so classy! I wouldn't mind spending my old age here one bit. Yes, get to Little Rambler. A porch swing, perhaps, but I digress. Your noxiousness! The sanctum lies before us! A crystal star will be ours! It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! Apparently simply stomping your foot unlocks it. Okay. The lock broke. Whoa, baby! Awesome! It opened! It's all about Lucky! I guess Rage really pays! <laughs> yes! This is it, Haggy! It's finally here! Uh-oh, it's a fake, though. <laughs> At last! I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Passer! You're the absolute best star getting guy! You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no real thief, I'm... The Ruthless Evil King! Bowser, the Ruthless Evil, or the Remorseless, excuse me, King of Evil! So I'll take what I want, and I want this! Uh-oh. Bowser, you say. Remorseless King of... What was that last bit again? Yes. Well, no matter. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. Yes. I... so I desuced. Ahem. <clears throat> then listen well. That crystal star is actually a vertebral red herring. Yes, an imposter. Warning, there's an imposter among us. Oh my god. What? A fake? But look at that fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so bush. If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? You must know. I, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? 
Those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we, we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be headed? Where? Lord Bowser! Uh, Lord Bowser, whatever he sounds like. Ah, Paragoomba, what are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir, uh, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand year door. Uh, what? And how would he have heard about that? Thousand year door? What in the heck is that? The thousand year door. An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. No. <sighs> Then I'm going there too! Immediately! Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine! Cammy, we're leaving now! <laughs> ah, well done, Luigi. Way not to not fail yet. Wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. We finally got all seven crystal stars! Crikin! Or corking, whatever. Now we can open the thousand year door! Ah yes, but... We still don't know where Princess Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport. Hey, oh boy! Perhaps Professor Frankly can help us find our dear Princess Peach, hmm? Like you said, let us get out of here. And I know an easy way to get out of here too. Alright, I gotta use this here. Port- ah, oh, not portal. I almost said portal. It's an elevator. Or is it an escalator? See, that's where I get mixed up. Anyways. I know these rooms seem to be active. And right, this door is locked. Whoa! How totally weird. I guess we can't get back this way, huh? Let's look for another way out of here. Good to keep a record, as they say. This is your last chance to get back anything you might have missed in there. I already did some of that off screen, though. Alright, this door is locked. Wait a minute, the elevator don't work no more? The elevator will move. Uh oh. That's not good. Alright, guess we'll have to go to a different floor then. Alright, we can't go through this door. There's a lot of locked doors. That's quite disturbing, isn't it? Well, this door's open. Where are we? You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something, and that is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. I am so s sorry. Most of my data was erased, and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cache memory. Trying to stay operational. M Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus, heading to the Palace of Sh Shadow. I had to tell you that. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow?
But back up power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Please hurry, there is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. <clears throat> I will cease all AI functions to send to power a power to the teleporter for you. But what'll happen to you? Then the power is all gone. I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Oh. Don't. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you. F for me. We understand, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on sub-level 2. Now! Mario, save her. If we don't get our asses out of here, we're all going to die. Mario, we have to save Peach! Report Tech 2! Get out of here, man. Everything's about to shut down. Alright, it's up level two. I think it's this room. If I remember correctly, it was this room here. Oh wait, you know what they say, it's good to keep a record. Alright, let's do it. Hit the button. Let's go. And this is what I meant by get every collectible you can before the boss fight. With Magnus Fog Grapple 2.0, because once you're out of here... Peach. Goodbye. The entire base explodes, and you can't go back for the rest of the game. The feeling fine badges that we saw in the previous episode? Yeah, I got those off screen. Same with any star pieces that were there. Huh. Am I totally losing it, or did I hear something a moment ago? No, you didn't hear anything. You're going crazy. Anyways, I wanted to go talk to Mr. Frankly. Well, if it isn't Mario. Sorry, I hit my desk. If it isn't Mario. Over here, son. You brought the Crystal Star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Uh, talk to my good ear. The Exos Fortress was on the moon. Oh, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Well, she was. But the Exos boss took her and headed for the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air that went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through to the other side of the door with Princess Peach. Uh, what? No way! Without all seven the Crystal Stars, the door shouldn't be shouldn't be open though. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own two eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Don't dawdle, he says. Fine, then. Oh, what do we have here? Ghost tea. Hello. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You and your inbox is now haunted by me. Oh, wait. I forgot about this guy. It's by me. The spirits you met to the express on the Excess Express. 
I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can type an email? Well, I actually possess a train conductor to do it. <laughs> Don't worry though, he's doing just fine. Uh, I may, I think maybe I'll do my new diary like this. Email's convenient, you know. And, and leaving a record of my afterlife is cool. In a spiritual sense, I mean. So good luck with your quest. It's not yet time for you to come over to my side. But whatever you do, I'll welcome you. <laughs> Farewell. Ghost T of Cabin 4. Neat. Anyways, wait. Ah, of course, there's another email. RDM's final issue. RDM Issue 7, Special Final Issue, Report Today! In a shocking series of events today, the local authorities report that Zestes delivered a left hook to the jaw of G Gadabout, Gadabout Flavio late, his very ap late this very avenue, afternoon. Excuse me, all the talking screwing me over. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zestes' anger. That shipment of a gourmet ingredient spoiled on the docks because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high sea adventures. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zesti has already been approached by a, a glitz pit talent scout, Don Gumbati. I think the kids got spunk. Well, take the word by storm. Take the world by storm instead of Gumbati. Alright, keep your eyes open for big things in Rogueport and elsewhere. This event continues to unfold and surprise local pride in our humble port. Town grows stronger than ever. Along with the smell. Thank you for reading. Shop reporters, go! This week we have an explosive exclusive on the shop in Far Outpost, North Winds Mart. It is so cold there that all of the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us a, fant a fascinating variety of goods. As the sweet-faced little miss explained, it's cold out, but I do best to explode inside shop to warm the place up. So come on in. This place is big too, folks, so we haven't e uh, even seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourself. So many shops left to cover. So little uh, remaining budget for further reporting. But fear not, this bold journalist plans to, re to research shops in a new way, with my own fiancé, or finances, excuse me. Thanks for uh, shopping along with me, readers. Cooking for rookies, this is a really long issue and my voice is hurting, <laughs> excuse me. This is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies. To make sure we leave you with a smile on your face, our last recipe will be for a couple's cake. Just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes, and then drop in a snow bunny. And presto! Before your very eyes, a mixture with congeal, well, congeal, and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. Uh, we're putting our forks, uh, our forks down for now. But remember, cooking is a window to the heart. May your meals be filling and your appetites willing. Editor's note. This is it, dear readers, the final issue. We here at the RDM office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. May you, may we meet again, perhaps sooner than you think, wink, wink. Per, uh, pu published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. You found us! Special final issue. RDM hasn't stopped the digital presses yet. Time to cover some secret corners. A secret news corner. Agent Urgent News just came across our desk about a certain missing quiz show host, Chuck Quizma. Oh my god, not him. Why is he missing? We've received insider info that his absence can be blamed on his upcoming show. Hey, who's fibbing? Sadly, the troubled production has kept him too busy to join for this adventure. But the reporter wishes him luck. It's sure to be a hit when it, when it premieres. See you next time, Chuck. We'll count on you. Well, we'll, or we'll count on it, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me, again. Sneak, a secret cooking corner. If you're s sneaking, seeking, a truly special dish, try adding an item known as point swap. This will let you flip the intensity of whatever you're cooking in, whatever you're cooking up. Take an item with a law effect, mix it with uh, point swap, and wowzy, wowzy, wowie zowie, excuse me. Oh wait, Sumara Wonder, heh. <laughs> you got, you gotta try this. And now, dear readers, you have truly, finally, and honestly reached the end of our reporting. Thank you so much for reading all the way to the end. Will we ever meet again? As long as newswriter emails remain, the dominant form of community reporting, there's always a chance. Fuck, my voice hurts. Ow. Anyways, let's get to the Thousand Year Door.
All right, in we go. Actually, wait, I forgot about something. Yeah, let's go back to that war pipe for a split second. All right, the final crystal star. Oh wait, I gotta get the next location first, don't I? I forgot that's how that works. I went the wrong way again. At this point, fuck it. Spring we go, frankly. <laughs> what kept you, Mario? Excuse me, I was reading emails. Anyway, there is nobody here. As such, I can only conclude that they used some special method to pass through the door. Alright. You ready, Gambella? You ready, everybody else? You ready, viewers? It's time to put the final crystal star where it belongs. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold off the last crystal star. By the power of all seven legendary crystal stars, guide us the opening to the thousand-year door and reveal what is within it. By the power of all that is magical and crystalline, I command the seven crystal stars to open this door by the power of magic so we can find the treasure and save this world from certain doom. I had to say an incantation, I love that stuff. I love the crystal stars. I still prefer the star spirits, but the crystal stars are cool too. Look, the door! Oh, look at that detail. That was not in the original. I love that. It's like a void. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadows has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Come on, Mario! Well, I guess that's it. In the next episode... We go into the Palace of Shadows. Well, not entirely. There is one other thing I'd like to do in a small bonus episode, but other than that, after that, we go into the Palace of Shadows. Anyways, if you all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, as soon as Joy-Con Drift stops and follows. Who are the vids you see on screen now if on YouTube and that bell button for more. Vids sponsored by the wonderful peeps at W, just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount on your wonderful energy drink order. I recommend the Dragon Age flavor. Plus, would you like and dislike about this video? We could use that feedback for future vids. And consider becoming a member on YouTube to access to very special content, just like such as my Pokemon and Surges playthrough. And answer the question of the day while you're at it, too. In the next episode, you know what we're doing. The Pals of Shadows and whatever the other thing was that I have planned. Thank you all for watching. Have a bearific day.